Yo, what's up guys, Shishinkadink here. This video is all about Quan Chi, as per usual. Uh, I'm going to do all three variations today. A lot of people have been asking me to play Sorcerer, so I'm going to play Sorcerer first. Um, I don't know a whole lot about Sorcerer, so I'm sorry for those that want me to uh, do like guides or anything on him. I don't, I don't feel that I know him enough to do a guide. I just like to steal your meter and put the armor up. <laughs> I don't know if that's really guide worthy, but either way, we got Leon RPD War King 79. So shouts to him, and we avoided the Sky Temple. Woo! It is a good feeling when you avoid that Sky Temple, even if you do it just narrowly. He's got Altercator for his thing, but he's using Imposter Shinnok. He's gonna go for the counter pick. One of Quan's worst matchups. Uh, assuming you know how to play it, if someone counterpicks you, don't always assume the worst right away. Because they might not know the matchup as well as you do. So if you know how to play the matchup better from your side, then it kind of negates the, uh, the challenge that you have, I suppose. I'm not sure he's teabagging. Oh, here we go with the Vortex. He bagged him back. <laughs> and we combo him to kill him. Not exactly sure what the tea bag is for. I didn't think I deserved it, but whatever. Okay, he's got the combo. Drops into the vortex. Ooh, I missed my punish on the health sparks. What is this guy's deal here? He really doesn't like me or he's showing off something, I don't really know. So we're gonna do a little gimmick here. And he quit. <laughs> I don't understand what he was doing. He just teabagged the whole time, lost, and then quit. He needs to watch my teabagging video I made, how to properly teabag. Because he did not do the proper teabag at all. But uh, shout outs to him anyways. I'm sure he's a nice gentleman. Don't have to be good to be nice. That's what I always say anyways. So now we're going to go into some Warlock, and I'm going to save Summoner for last. Who we got? Who we got? Mark Corrales, 46. Hola, Quan. Ooh, Hollywood. Alright, we got a Hollywood up in here. I'm surprised she doesn't have a belly button pierce. She seems like the kind that would have that. Just my personal opinion, but take it for what it's worth. Okay, Mark Corrales, 46. Let's see what you got for Cassie Kizzle. I don't usually play this as Warlock. Usually I play this matchup as Summoner because you can zone her out and get her in the Vortex. But she's got good mix-ups, so you want to counter mix-ups with mix-ups. And like, not like the best mix-ups, but like, they're annoying. There's a bunch of little mix-ups that kind of eat away at you. Oh, I didn't have stamina to backdash. Not paying attention to my stamina. Boom, frame trap. Boom, frame trap. Oh, he jumped. We're gonna anti air, and he's got a breaker, so I'm gonna throw him. Because I want him in the corner, anyways, and I don't want him to break, so. Your death approaches. Nice shoes, though. How much did you say they were worth? Hasn't used the back one, two, four string at all. 
Ooh, wake up. Use the EX skull sometimes. Twenty percent uppercut. And that's it. I have trouble hitting that sometimes. Uppercut, and you, if you can only do it as an anti-air, really, and then forward three of them after the uppercut. Twenty percent, boys. I don't think they can break it either. Not that anyone's really going to break an uppercut, but you never know. So last but not least, we're going with Summoner Quinn Chi. See who we can get here. Hopefully someone who's not going to beat me up and make me look bad. Dreydog the Man. I used to play this guy on Xbox all the time, I think. I think in Injustice he used to use Lobo, I can't remember who he used to use in Mortal Kombat 9. Well, I'm in a party right now, so I can't hear what he's saying, which kind of is, is unfortunate. I like to hear the salt. Did he pick Ronin? Ronin? Ronin Takeda? He's got Reiko. Whatever happened to Reiko? I thought for sure Reiko was going to be in the game. Guess not. Ah, oh, the blocks. One thing about Ronin that's kind of difficult for Quan is that back one. Back one pressure is kind of difficult to deal with. But overall, I think this matchup's about even. You can zone him out pretty good. Good blocks. But when he gets in, it's party time. It's just kind of how Juan works, you know. 50% boys. Let's go for a find a blockable here. Didn't have enough meter to do the the X rune. Ooh, this could be a flawless. Stagger, standing one throw. The Dink special. Get a flawless. A successful run today, guys. Hashtag Bonehawks and all that stuff. Hope you enjoyed my. All three variations of Quan, from teabagging to flawlesses. <laughs> and we will uh, see you guys in the next video.